Well, hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How Welcome. I'm doing great. And you? I'm doing well. All right. Great. Great. Was... It was what? Thank how you. was your? Yes. Ah, how was your day today? How was it? Mm, my day was very well, I think, because I I was. Uh, doing a lot of things uh, with a lot of time of ma machines and machines, we are machines. Putting machines so we are putting uh, a lot of a lot of uh, spare parts and something like that something like that okay. for example uh, to take the measures of the sound piece or for for to send to do to do to the work work taller work the the shop the shop workshop workshop yes uh, yes to the workshop yeah things like that it's all funny. right <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. yes all right. oh that's great that's great right that's great let me see all right, well, I'm glad to hear you doing a lot of stuff, right? Especially work related. Today we're going to do an activity related with with work uh, work topics. Hello, Freddy's. Welcome. And Jackie, all right, I saw your message. Good evening, Jackie. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Alvin. Welcome. Welcome. And Carla and Janari and Thelma is connecting right now. All right. Good evening, teacher. Hello, welcome. Hello. How was your day? Good evening, hello. Excuse hey, me. hello, Thelma. Welcome. Hello. Thanks. All right, let me see. How was your day, Freddy? It was good. It was good? Okay. All right, great, great. Let me see. All right. So let me see. It got close, right? <laughs> Freddy's? It got close today. The the price. Remember last module, el último el mes pasado, last month? Oh yeah, um, you say you was gonna pay to sell it. A 70, de proyecté yo, ¿verdad? A 70. Yeah. ¿A cuánto llegó hoy? 69. 69. <laughs> 69 y un poquito más, ¿verdad? 69.30 o 69.20, ¿verdad? Pero yeah. esa fue la proyección que yo les di, ¿verdad? That's what I told you. I, I waste some money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. made me, uh, I think I made me like, uh, lo convertí, I converted it back to dollars. I think I made me like a hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just on that, just on that platform in the international one, I I hice más en la internacional en Binance, con la de Binance. I still haven't figured out Coinbase, the American one, la americana, the American one. For some reason, it won't let me continue. I don't know. It it, can, it will let me buy, but it won't let me take out. So I'm not going to purchase anything. I don't know what's going on with the platform. He, and it was, I don't know, I was having difficulty with it. I tried and to which register. Which one? Euro and Binance? No, and Coinbase. Coinbase. Coinbase, the American one. And oh. I have the Binance one, the Binance one. When I created that account, cuando yo hice esa cuenta en Binance, I did it at the beginning of the year. Antes que acelera la de aquí. Chivo before it came out. I did it at the beginning of the year. Oh, so you have three accounts. Yeah. And Whoa. and and um really and I have one that I do the, the transaction that is cheaper, a wallet that is cheap. It's uh, I forgot the name of it, I have it right here. But if anybody wants it, I can I can share it with you. You can you can transfer from Binance to there to Chivo and go to the cajero and take it out. Yo ya lo hice, eso es, es, no es algo que estoy inventando, right? So, if, 
Uh, maybe I can show you. I'll, not here in the class. Maybe maybe contact individually. I can show you how to take out your money. Right? It's easy to buy, but it's harder to take out. Right? To take it out from international accounts. Right? <laughs> Yeah, that's the difference, right? The, and the most important reason. <laughs> yeah, right? Because if you use direct, you can do it directly from Binance to your bank. You can do that. But it's $23 for every transaction. With the Anywhere. other, yeah, with the other, with the other wallet, it's like $2.50, something like that. <laughs> so that's the one it's that better. I use. Yeah, it's better. All right. So now, let me see. Talking about that, and let me see. All right, I'm going to share screen, right? And we are going to continue with our module. All right, so everyone's here, it's almost time, right? It's about that time, get ready. Remember that, let me see, where is it? Okay, I can this, here you go. All right, class. Remember that this is a two week unit, so we're going to expand it a little bit. But uh, can you read please, um, Carla, can you read the presentation, the PowerPoint right here, please? <clears throat> okay. Uh, did you say Carla, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, unit two: Logistic Building Vocabulary Began Project. Sería project. Sorry. Okay. It's speaking activity. Yeah. Wednesday, okay. November tenth, twenty twenty-one. All right. Very good. Right. And today we're in class number. A uh, class number seven. Okay, very good, right? So this is class number seven, and we are going to continue with unit two. Remember that we will finish unit two all the way to class number 15, right? Class number 15, we will continue unit two, all right? Now, the, the importance here is that I mentioned to you yesterday, right? That we are going to begin a project for this unit. And the project, we're going to begin it today. Not everything, but I'm going to give you some time to slowly, right, pace by pace. And then at the end, it'll be easier for you to have it finalized. So I'm going to give you some time today to begin administrating your logistics project, all right? Because it's not going to be something of a one one small little paragraph no you're going to have to explain right your your project and i'm going to elaborate a little bit about this and i have some instructions for that also but uh, let me stop sharing here thank you carla for reading it i'm going to do the first attendance all right abigail present teacher thank you Blanca? Blanca? Present. All right, here you are. Brenda. Brenda. All right. Not here. And let me see. Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. All right, great. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. Ah, okay, you're here. I hope you're feeling better. Edwin? Yeah, I've, I've, I've had temperature right now, but actually oh, okay. I'm a little bit better. Okay, let me ask you something. Do, will, you, will you rather yes. be a listener today? I would rather be a listener. Okay. It will be better for me. All right, Thank no you, problem. teacher. All right, I will write Thank it down right here. Understand. Yes, if you communicate with me, I will gladly look out for you, all right? Let me see. Just stay connected, okay, Edwin? 
Thank you so much. Right. I will be a listener. Stay, yeah, stay connected. Eh, para así, eh, administración no puede ver que está conectado. That's, that's all that matters. Everything else, I got you. Okay, Edwin? You can just Thank be a listener. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. Thank you. All right. Edwin Alexander. All right. Francisco. Francisco, okay, not here. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Glenda? Glenda? Okay, no answer, not here. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. Okay, and Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Jennifer. Jennifer, okay, not here. Juan Jose. Juan Jose, okay, not here. Carla. Carla. Present. Okay, thank you. And Miguel. Miguel, okay, not here. Hmm. So. All right. Neftali? Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando, Rolando, okay, not here. Telma. Okay, thank you. Janari? I'm here. All right, great. Let me see. And Alvin, finally. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, great. Let's continue. We have 14 right now. Let's continue. Maybe the rest can join later. We're going to be late, but. All right. <clears throat> okay, I hope you can see the screen. Let me see. Okay, we're going to please go to page page 19, right? Page 19 of your book. Now remember, I hope my recommendation is if you can print it, si lo puede imprimir, if you can print it, please do so. All right, please do so. It will help you. It will help you. Analyze the project. Now, we have a page right here, right? <clears throat> we have a page and basically, can you read please, Alvin, the number six right here? Building vocabulary, match these terms related to logistics to their meanings. All right, very good. So we have some terms here and you're going to match them according to, so for example, what would be number one? Would it be this one, this one, this one? Let's look at the vocabulary. All right, um, <clears throat> I want you to read all the vocabulary, Alvin, <clears throat> all the vocabulary words, please. Logistics, supplies, Procurement, distribution, maintenance. Um, maintenance. Maintenance. No. Maintenance. 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 Thank eh, you. That is American accent. Maintenance. Yes. Inventory management in supply chain. Okay, in supply chain. Right. Very good. Very good. 
Maintenance. How do you say, teacher? Maintenance. maintenance. Yes. Yeah, you don't. Ma maintenance. You don't pronounce this right here. That eh. You do not pronounce it. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, maintenance. thank you. All right. I know some of you probably say maintenance. No. All right. You disregard the E. Maintenance. Maintenance. Trust me, you're probably saying, I'm no creo, teacher, right? But if you go to Google, probably go look up the word and try to pronounce it, you're going to hear it. Maintenance. Yeah, okay? I trust you, teacher. All right, great. But remember, if you ever have doubts, you can always double check, all right? But I'm going, I teach you American accent. So if you can follow me, you're going to be able to communicate and speak the American way, right? So very good, Alvin, very good correction on the, on the pronunciation maintenance maintenance very good now um we have these vocabulary words and then we have some meanings or definitions right now alvin already read the vocabulary here on one side now can i get a volunteer Janari, right i know you're always ready thank Teacher, you alvin. i want to read yes I, I want to read after Janari. Okay, no problem. So we're going to I'm going to let Janari read this, and then Abigail, you will read everything here on number seven. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah. Okay. The description, right? Yes. Okay. All okay. of them. Okay, teacher. Process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. The network creates, how can I say, amongst? Amongst, amongst. Amongst, amongst, thank you, amongst different companies producing and distributing products. Okay. The, the, the ongoing process of moving parts and products into into and out of a company's location. The coordination of an operation in, involve, involving, involving many people, facilities or suppliers. The process of keeping something in good condition. The act of obtaining or buying goods and services. The amount of a good or service Offer for sale. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Very good. Good job, Yanari. Now we Thank have this. And what I want you to do is <clears throat> I want you to match. Match. So for example, what would be let's do number one. What would be what would be logistics? Logistics. Can I do it? Yes. Okay. You want the answer for logistics is the coordination of an, of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. All right. So we go here, and that would be number one right there, right? Yes. Very good. So I see. I gave you the example right here. So you're going to put the number where it goes. So number one is logistics, right? The coordination and thank you, Freddy's. That is correct. And you can do the rest, okay? I did the first one for you. And please do so, do not send it to me, okay? You will not send this to me. So we did logistics already. So I'm going to let you analyze this and then we're going to do it together in class.
Okay, is everyone finished or you still need more time? Not yet. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more minutes. Mm -hmm. Let me. All right. How many of you are finished? Like, how many? What? How many questions do you? Let me see. How many questions are you like in need of finishing? We're right here. In my case, miss two. All right. All right. A little bit more time. For this part right here, for the for the bottom part, I'm going to send you something right now to the group so you can have instead of just seeing some boxes, you can you can see something a little bit more figurative. So I'm going to send it to to the group. All right. I send it to the group that's going to be for the bottom part, a little bit about inbound and outbound logistics. All right. Okay. We have administration here in the video conference. Welcome. All right. So let me know when we, we can start with number two. All right, what would be what would be supplies? What would be supplies? Process. Mm -hmm. A process of supply goods to store and other uh, business that mm. sell to consumer. The number one issue. Mm. Okay, close. Close. 
All right, good try. What would be supplies? Mm, they, it won't be this one. It's another one. Okay. Okay, but thank you for trying, Francisco. Okay. What would be supplies? Anyone? Teacher, it could be the the amount of a good of service offered for sale. All right, yes. All right. All right, very good. That is correct. The amount of a good or service offered for a sale, right? For a sale, the amount. We're talking about la cantidad de los bienes, right? Or, or products. Or service offered for sale. That will be supplies. Okay, what would be number three? What would be procurement? For me, teacher, is the act mm -hmm. of obtaining or buying goods and service. Okay, that would be number three, right? Yes. The procurement, right? The procurimiento, right? The act of obtaining or buying goods and serve it. That is the, when you gain, when you receive, right? The process, the act of obtaining, obtener, obtaining goods or services, right? Carlos, do number four, please. The, the network creating uh, among different companies uh, producing and distribution product. Okay. Producing and distributing uh, a distributing product, right? Hmm. Uh, okay. You said this one right here, right? Carlos? Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm, well, good try, but that won't be the, the, the answer, but thank you for participating. All right. Teacher, in yes. my opinion, number four is process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. All right, very good. That sell to consumers, that is distribution. Remember, distribution is el proceso, the process, right? Very good. That is the process. Distribution is un proceso, it's a process. All right, very good. That is correct. What will be number five? Number five, five, five. The process of keeping something in good condition. Okay, the process of keeping something in good condition. There will be number five right here. Let me see. Yes, that is correct. Excellent. All right, what about number six? What would be number six? It's getting easier now, right? What would be number six? Hmm? Okay. Products into and out of a company's location. Okay, very good. Location, right? Yes. Very good. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me. It should be number six. Or number, number five. Well, let me erase something right here. All right. And it should be number six. All right. Okay. And the last one. Who wants to read the last one? Me, the teacher. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Me. Okay, the network created amongst different companies producing and distributing. Team product? Yeah, distributing, distributing. Distributing product. All right, great. All right, very good. We're finished, right? You finished. All right, great. Let me see. Is the administration still here? No. Okay, ya no están aquí. Estaba administración como por 10 minutos en la conferencia. Right? So remember, try to be here, right? Let me see, that is correct. All these are correct, so I hope you write them here, all right? And try to just analyze this because you're going to need this information, right? You're going to need it and 
you're going to have to be able to explain it when it comes to logistics when you do your activity. Now, you have this already finished. Now, in the group, I sent a picture. All right. I sent a picture. I give you something a little bit different view about inbound and outbound logistics, right? Dos tipos de logísticas aquí. Remember, there are, there are many different types of logistics, and we were talking about that with Rolando yesterday, right? Now, we look at this, inbound logistics and outbound logistics. So here it just says something brief, but I gave you something more illustrative. Si lo pueden ver en el grupo de WhatsApp, right? The picture that I sent, it's a little bit more like, hey, okay, lo pueden analizar better, in a better way, right? Because it's more illustrative. Aquí no más hay cuadros, right? So I send you that. So inbound, what is inbound then? What do you think inbound is? Inbound. Like is incoming? Hmm? Excuse me? Like something incoming? Yes, incoming, right? Something that comes to the company, right? For example, estamos esperando la, el, el barco, right? The ship or something in the United States. A lot of the boats are stranded, right? They can't get, they can't get to the ports because they're too packed and a lot of, a lot of chaos. But I think they settle all that already, right? I hope so. So it's what's coming in. And then you got outbound logistics. It's when the company receives everything, como lo distribuye, right? It's how it sends it to the customer or to the consumer that will be outbound logistics all right coming in inbound como pueden ver aquí dice in in right it should give you like hmm it's coming in and then out right outside of the business to the to the customer or the consumer okay now abigail where are you abigail here, teacher. Okay, please continue. Okay, uh, inbound logistic concerns the okay, relationship. Okay, can you read the number seven at the beginning? Okay. Your turn. Your turn. Read the definition below. Then complete the steps of the processes using words from the box. Inbound logistics concerns the relationship between companies and their suppliers. While outbound logistics deals with the how com companies get products to their customers. Very good, very good. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, outbound, right, is it deals with how companies get the products to their customer and then inbound here we have a little bit something different also concerns the relationships between companies right the relationship that unisense between companies right that affiliation with companies and their suppliers right so they're in constant communication with them not the customer right the customer is not going to call china or japan for or Toyota or something like that, right? They call the, the person, the dealer, or the person that sells them the car. The dealer is in contact with the big corporations, right? So they're receiving the, for, I'm giving an example about cars, right? So can someone give me a major company that sells cars here, brand new? Divea or somewhere else, any, any other car? Company that, Venden los carros nuevecitos, they sell them brand new. What company in El Salvador? Anybody? For example. Okay, Excel, right? Yeah, all right. So Excel and those types of places. They sell Toyota and they sell Kia, they sell other brands, right? So when you buy the car as a customer, you're not going to call uh, Kia corporation, si algo le falla, right? You're going to talk with the Excel aquí en el país. And then Excel is going to talk with the main corporations, all right? So inbound, overseas, international to here, and then from here to the consumers, to us, right? To us Salvadorians, 
that will be the outbound logistics. Okay, continue, please, Abigail. Customer? Customer service, warehouse, transport, production planning, purchasing. 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 Yes, so. purchasing. Very good, very good, good job, very, very good. Now we have here some, there are five, right? Five words here. And where do you think they go? You have inbound here and we have outbound. I'm going to give you a little clue, okay? Two go here, so van aquí, and two go here. One goes here. One goes here. So I'm going to, we're going to do this together, okay? Because you're probably saying, teacher, I don't know about this. So I'm going to explain it to you. We have inbound logistics at the beginning, basically from wherever it comes from, right? And the, in, as you can see here, inbound is the relationship between companies and their suppliers. So what do you think happens when we have inbound logistics? We first have to have what? We have to select the, the top ones. Yes, which one do you think? Production planning. Okay. Mm, okay, that one will probably be not here, right? Okay. okay. I suppose that purchasing. Uh, purchasing. Purchasing, yes. The first thing you have to do is buy, right? Lo primero que hace para recibir algo de su empresa es comprarlo. You have to buy it, right? You have to do the purchase. So it's like, hey, I want I want 10 cars. Yeah. Haga el depósito primero, right? Se los mandamos, right? <laughs> so, oh. yeah, right? So it's, it's purchasing first, right? The first thing here would, would be purchasing right but you're not far away freddy's you're not far away so production plan is going to be on the middle then yeah exactly that's what you do the planning or how you're going to, to to move it how you're going to the production planning is like in the middle how you're going to receive it from the production suppliers and then how you're going to move it from here to the to the customer so it would be like the neutral the neutral side, but let me write this one first. Um, okay. You're correct. You're correct, Freddy's. Let me see. I'm going to make it 18. And it was purchasing, right? All right. Purchasing, and then what will be the second one on the first one? Purchasing it and what else? What do you think? If you're going to buy the product, what do you think it has to, if you're buying 2 million, nah, nah, I'm not going to exaggerate tampoco, right? I'm not going to exaggerate. You, uh, <laughs> ah, where, yes, very good. You read my, you read my mind, Freddy. Warehouse, right? Warehouse, all right? And then we move to the next one. So it's purchasing. And then warehouse, because if you buy a, a hundred cars, donde lo van a tener esos 100 carros, right? They're not going to have them on the roof of a house. They're going to have them in a warehouse, right? They're going to have them in a warehouse. Um, has anyone ever seen, alguien aquí ha visto, when new cars come in? Yes. Like in, in los ports? In aduanas? All right. I have. It's a lot of cars. <laughs> it's a lot of cars, right? Yeah, they have them all lined up, all lined up, bien, par bien lined up. Very good. Now, and you Peter, measure, you, yes? Uh, what is the right translation for warehouse? Because I, I got a lot of translations. Okay, warehouse is, is the place, uh, yes, el almacenamiento, right? Bodega, like bodega. Yes, exactly, yes. All right. Yes. Okay, thank you. That is correct. And uh, I'm going to give you one other word. Just, esto no va aquí. This is just extra, okay? Warehouseman es la persona que trabaja en una bodega. 
right? O en un lugar que contiene un montón de, de cosas adentro, right? A warehouseman. Eh, why do I say warehouseman, right? Porque existe este título en Estados Unidos. You can be a certified warehouseman. Teacher. And they pay good also. They pay. Si, es a, si es a woman work? Warehouse woman. Woman in working a warehouse com, woman. Okay. Yes. That would be your title. All right. That would be your title. Yes. That is correct. All right. Thank you for asking. All right. Now. The here in the in the middle will be the what is it, Freddy's? Production planning. Very good. Ah. All right. It will be production planning, and then with with uh, the next ones will be trans customer service customer service right oh, okay customer service transport the last one all right and transport right which is outbound right outbound where you're going to send it to the customer right transport and this is something that uh Rolando mentioned yesterday about the newspapers, right? How they they transport the newspapers to San Miguel and then they come they come backwards, right? All the way to San Salvador. So this will be transport. So outbound here, this will be like neutral, and this will be inbound. Purchasing warehouse, purchasing and warehouse, and then in the middle, production planning and the outbound. The final part will be customer service and transport. And this is dealing with direct contact with the customer or or the consumer right you can say either or the customer or consumer right consumer significa consumidor all right those of you that probably saying what well, teacher you use consumer and and customer oh. right customer is cliente consumer is consumidor it depends how you want to to look at it okay now this was something here just to give you more information about the logistics a little bit about planning a little bit of a little bit of vocabulary and fundamental knowledge in relation to logistics all right now what are we going to do next if you have your book you can close it if you want, because we're not going to work on, on the pages, but you're going to do an activity based on logistics, right? Not so much, but it's going to be about the project, okay? I'm going to erase this, so I hope you have it in case you might see it in the, in the platform or something, right? As homework, so please, if you have it, so you can take a screenshot because I'm going to clear the drawings. All right, one, two, three. All right. Okay. All right. Let me let me see something. I have you, 18 of you, all right. Okay. Now, I want someone to read, please, that hasn't participated. Mm. Mm. Neftali, I haven't heard you today. First part of a logistics presentation. Design a logo, slogan, company name, and include your status. 
it can't be from the internet. You can copy one from the internet, but you will not qualify qualify for the price. Qualify for the prices. All right, very good. All right? You decide. Ustedes decidan. You decide how you want to do this. If you want to go to the internet, voy a revisar todos sus trabajos y si veo que nomás copiaron y pegaron información. From the internet, you are disqualified from the price, y pero sí lo voy a tomar en cuenta como actividad en clase. All right? I'm going to say this in, in Spanish so it can be clear. I want this to be unique. Único. O sea, no puede ser la misma información de uno de ustedes con la otra persona o el otro compañero. Right? So I want you to design a logo. O sea, no van a ir a la internet de sacar el logo de Nike. Right? Porque automáticamente está descalificado para los premios que voy a dar. All right? So si lo quieren hacer, you can do it. Right? Lo tomaré como que sí hicieron la actividad. Y lo voy a poner aquí en mi cuaderno para dar la evaluación que tengo que hacer a la otra semana de ustedes en yo voy a poner que lo hizo perfectamente si lo hace con internet no hay ningún problema I will not be like oh no no si lo hacen así no there's no problem all right I have no problem with that but you will not okay aquí lo puse bien claro y puse el will afirm bien affirmative all right you will not qualify for the prices. So, yo voy a dar premios. I'm going to give prices. All right? So, if I see that you copy from the internet, I, I just disqualify. ¿Y quién va a determinar eso? Last time we did it, it was between the classmates, right? The classmates decided who was the winner. This time, I'm going to decide who is the winner. All right? So, I want you to do a good job. I want you to do your best. And this is going to be in relation to logistics, right? Now, when you do a presentation, remember that we are online. Estamos en línea. We are teaching online. So your presentation uh, is going to be digital, right? When, when you share screen, I want you to create. Now, you probably say, teacher, well, you know, I can't do it like that. Or you don't have to, okay? You don't have to. But to win the prizes? Teacher, I have a question. Yes? When it says include your status, what do you mean when include your status? Okay, include your status. All right, I mentioned it yesterday, right? I mentioned it yesterday. Mm. Janari, what do you think? Let me see if you can answer the question for Freddy's. What do you... What is I don't it? Remember. <laughs> huh? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember either? Okay. <laughs> By a boom. Boom. <laughs> what do you think I, I mean? ¿Qué creen que yo quiero decir con include your status? The position at the company. Uh, for example? CEO. Ah, <laughs> yes include your status right the ceo if you're the president okay. if you're the owner if you're the manager i don't know i don't know whatever you you want to be but i want to be something from top all right you can be the owner you can be the ceo or 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 maybe you just acquire the company the herencia i don't know right <laughs> so yes uh, uh, how can i say junta directiva the committee uh -huh. yeah you can say the mm, but eh, la junta directiva tiene un listado que viene que son como cuatro o cinco right so i want you to be i want you to be like the owner or the president right because i know that secretary <laughs> i want you to remember you are creating your company Ustedes están creando su empresa. This is going to be, so you can't be like the secretary, right? But in the... Oh, you can Okay, the, the, you want to be junta directiva. Is that what no, you want to be? Associated. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, 
Chair, I have a question. The, uh, is, okay, uh, just give me one second, Rolando, please. Just give me one second. Okay, now, Janari, mm -hmm. I just want to finish with clarifying something. All right. Okay. Now, do you want to be de la Junta Directiva? Are you talking about the president of la mm -hmm. Junta Directiva? Okay, so you're going to be the president of the board of directors. Is that what uh -huh. you're saying? Eso es lo que usted quiere hacer. Yeah, that, that's okay. If you want to be the president, because the president sí tiene peso. Is <laughs> the president is the yeah. same the CEO. It's similar, but yeah, it's if they have a different, a little bit of different functions, right? But if you're going because to be the president the of, is the CEO. of the, the board, CEO is the CEO of the company of the board of directors. Uh huh. Okay, you can be you can be that. There won't be no problem with that. Okay, yes, la mera mera, como decimos. All right, <laughs> all right. So you're like the, the top, top ten, the top notch, right? <laughs> the president of board of directors, right? Because um, yeah, yeah, you can be that. Sometimes in different companies, for example, in education or something, the board of directors, yeah, they have a lot of a lot of a lot of power. But they're not considered CEOs, right? But in some places, a CEO and the president of board of directors have the same functions. All right. So if you want to be that, Yanari, eh, that is that is I will accept it. All right. But I thought when you said board of directors, que no más quería ser un miembro de la junta directiva. But if you're talking about the president, ahí sí. All right, now you're talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. So I guess I'll put it right here. President of the Board of Directors. All right. Okay. All right. Thank awesome. You. Okay. Now, Rolando. Okay. Uh, I have a confuse about this this project. Okay. Because I, I am confused. I understand. I understand that. We have to to make um, a logistic plan. Yes. Yeah. For a, a distribution some product. Yeah, distributing some product. Yeah. Or service, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I I understand that the principal objective for this exercise it is. Yes, that is yeah. correct. But uh, I I listen uh, I listen that uh, you talk about make a company make a, a some uh, level in your company etc cetera, etc cetera, etc. Cetera. This is I think that this is not the the, the more important uh, uh, objective to the exercise. Uh, is is true? Okay, you are almost correct. Rolando, almost correct. Puede leer aquí arriba, Rolando, aquí arriba, lo que está aquí arriba. Can mm -hmm. you read it up here? Lo puede leer para la clase? Yes, yes. First part of first part of logistic presentation. Okay, this is just the first part. Esto es, vamos a ir avanzando poco a poco y al final va a tener todo. Esto nomás es la primer parte. Mm -hmm. All right. This is just the first part. This is not like everything. Aquí no puesto todo. I want you to already have it so you can start progressing y así cuando no va a tener un solo día para hacer todo. All right? So that's why I'm doing it in parts. Uh, let me see something. Ayer lo mencioné en la clase, right? That we were going to do it in parts. Lo vamos a hacer en partes y le iba a dar tiempo para que trabajaran aquí en la clase, para que no quitarle tiempo de, pues en su trabajo, o tiempo libre, right? So, this is just the first part, Roland, okay? So maybe that's probably what you didn't understand, that, um, the, the, let me see, the, um, the, the only thing we're going to do is, for right now, for today, only, Design a logo, a slogan, 
a company name, y lo mencioné ayer, a company name and include your status. Yanari. Yanari yes, ¿Lo mencioné esto ayer? Yeah. Ok, thank you. Now, the, that is just the first part. All right, this is just the first part. Then, when you have this finished, we're going to the second part. The second part is going to be where you're going to start thinking about the product that you're going to be distributing or service or products, right? And then you're going to decide your distribution channels, all right? And then you're going to decide who are going to be your, o sea, esto no es, I'm going to give you step by steps. Y ya que ustedes ya tengan esto, la segunda parte va a ir en, encajada. Y luego la tercera, y luego la cuarta, y quizá la quinta, la finalización. Y ya tienen ya todo para ya no más, como hacer un, how do you say, un borrador, if you want to say it, right? Like a sketch. And then you can fix it however you want to kind of make it better into a presentation that is going to be um, about three to five minutes. Three to five minutes. And what else did I say yesterday? ¿Qué más dije ayer? Que las presentaciones no las vamos a hacer en un solo día. ¿Y vamos a hacer cuántos días dije ayer? Two. Two days. We're going to do it in two days, the presentations, right? And then I'm going to select a winner for first place and second place, right? So for today, ¿qué van a hacer hoy? You're going to design a logo, a slogan, a company name, and include your status. That's it. Just for today, all right? But I want you to already be thinking about what you're going to do. All right, and that's why I mentioned it yesterday, so you can have a little understanding about what you're going to do with your logistics. Remember, I said yesterday you're going to be the CEO, the president, or whatever, but you're going to be functioning also like what? Like a logistician. You're going to design your, your logistics also, okay? Pero no pueden diseñar una logística si no tienen una empresa. ¿Verdad que no? No se puede. Eh, usted no puede decir, Rolando, ¿verdad? Usted no puede decir, voy a vender mi periódico si no tiene una empresa. ¿De dónde va a salir ese periódico? Right? Or, or, or any company. If I say Nike, I'm going to sell Nike shoes. I can't sell Nike sin el logo, sin el slogan, sin el nombre de la empresa. Right? I can't. So you have to have this basic understanding about the principles of business, and then you go with logistics. Logistics. Remember, the company comes first, and then the logistics. La logística no se puede hacer si no hay compañía o si no hay una empresa. So that's why I had this done, so you can begin y ya pueden empezar. Okay? Um, thank you for the question, though, uh, Rolando. And I hope, espero I, I, I answer your question. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'm clear. Okay. All right, great. All right, Carlos, you have a question, sir. Yes, teacher, only for to be clear. So I understand that we are going to have around 15 minutes no. uh, for to, to make the, the exposition about the... I'm going to I'm going to do it about I'm going I'm going to be two two about, days. It's going to be about five minutes. Five minutes, okay. I think in five minutes you can give a presentation. Five minutes, all right? Queremos a cinco minutos. Five minutes. Uh, okay, teacher. All right. So you're you're going to I mean to say welcome, my company. I have a question. Oh, sorry. My company is Nike, and this is our slogan, and this is our company. I use 30 seconds, right, to do this, or maybe one minute. I am the CEO. My name is Henry, and I am the CEO of uh, uh, Salvadorian Enterprise. And then I continue. Right, pero esto no más es la primera parte. This is just the first part. 
Yes, Doris, you have a question? Who had a question? Me, I had a question. Okay. Uh, in our presentation, our PowerPoint, we included a video. For example, uh, one minute, uh, because I want to uh, present my idea or the process of my product, for example. Okay, now you can, you can if you want to make a video, you can make a video also, but I want to hear you speak also, right? So you can make a video, but it cannot come from YouTube. No, you cannot put a, a video from YouTube porque ya está poniéndome algo que es de alguien más, right? But if you want to create your own video with some applications where you do your video, que sea unique el video, yes, please. Feel free, one minute video, you can put it, you can put it with your presentation and that will be fine. That will be great. That will be great. But uh, not from YouTube where you're just going to put a video from YouTube. That, that's from someone else, right? Remember, you. remember that you are creating your company. So no pueden poner una compañía como Super Select o Sima. Esas ya son de alguien más. Crean su propio, inventen, invent your your uh, logo, your slogan, and the company name, all right? This is it, you're creating your company basically, all right? And by the point here is logistics, all right? El punto aquí es la logística. Let me see. The point here is logistics. Now, with the part of logistics, I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you the analysis of what you're going to do when we get to that point, right? When we get to that point. But yesterday, ayer se los mencioné un poco, la parte de la logística, right? But in order to go step by step, we're going to begin with the uh, logo, slogan, and company name, right? Remember that every company, for example, Nike, ¿cuál es el logo de Nike? ¿Alguien lo sabe? All right, like the little check, right? La cumita, como le dicen. Yeah, the, the, little, the little, la cumita. ¿Y cuál es el eslogan de, de Nike? Just do it. Just do it, yes. Just do it, right? Just do it. That is the, the slogan, right? And the company name is Nike. La compañía se llama Nike. El logo es una, like a little check. And the slogan is, just do it. And yes, then, this is the, the public name. Yes, that is the registered name. Registered name. Yes. So I want you to do something like that, right? I can say, oh, yeah, um, I'm going to design a logo and put put something on it, right? You design it. You design the logo. You design the logo and the slogan. Now you can go the logo. You can if you if you go on the internet, you can get like a little house or a little shoe, and then you can put a little picture on the side. You can create it also, right? But the slogan, si tiene que ser unique, right? And the company name and include your status. That's all you have to do right now. Es todo lo que tiene que hacer ahorita. That's it. These three things, design a logo. Well, Janari, you already did this one. Include your status because you're the president of board of directors, right? So esta ya la tiene, right? All you have to do, design a logo, a slogan, a company name. That's all you have to do right now, right? I'm going to give you 20 minutes. Now, how are you going to present it? Como va a ser la presentación al final? It's going to be in PowerPoint or Word or any other uh, technological device that you are able to use. Hay muchas plataformas. You can use it like that. Or you can uh, dibujar algo en, un car in like in a cardboard, right? You can buy something from, uh, I think in the pharmacy, La Buena or Brasil, they sell like their 30 cents or 20 centavos vale un cuadro así para pintar or something like that. They're white. If you want to draw it, you can also, right? 
if you can draw, take a picture, y luego subirla como una presentación. You can do that also. It depends how you want to present it. And you can always contact me and let me know if you have any questions, okay? Anyone have any more questions? No questions? All right. Then you can begin. Empiezan a crear su logo, slogan, company name. Porque después de este paso, continuaríamos con paso dos. But not today. Only this for today. Step two will probably be... Maybe not tomorrow, but maybe Friday. So we can have an easy day on Friday. So you can begin. And if if you have any doubts, you can send it to me, right? Here in WhatsApp. But before we begin, I have to do the second attendance, right? Second attendance. Let me see. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Okay. Brenda. All right. And Carlos. I'm here present teacher. All right. Doris. Present. Okay, great. Edwin. Edwin, okay, I know you're here. Let me see. Francisco. Francisco. Sorry, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Fredis. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda. Glenda, okay, not here. Iris, all right. Let me see. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Jackie. Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. All right. Okay, welcome. Okay, Carla. Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, not here. Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Rolando. Present. All right, great. Let me see. Delma. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Janari? I'm here. All right, great. <laughs> Alvin? Present teacher. All right. Let me see. You remind me of my sister, Janari. Really? Yes. You have like... Why? Uh, the, the way you, uh, you speak also. The, your, the sound, <laughs> right? It's like, like my sister. When I hear you, it's like I'm thinking about my sister. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of your attitude also, see, in, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that also, right? So you, not also your the voice, but I think your personality, right? Similar, yeah, I, I, la similar, the similarity, <laughs> right? Okay. So, okay, class, I'm going to... Well, I feel like my sister's here, right? In my in the class, right? That's great. <laughs> All right, let me see. Um, I'm going to give you some a few minutes, right? To start developing and start thinking about what a company name you're going to use. Let me share screen again. All right. That way, when you give your presentation, you can give all this information at the beginning. Recuerda, esto va a ser el inicio de su presentación. This is going to be the beginning of your presentation, 
all right you're going to introduce yourself hello my name is and your status in the company right my name is henry and i'm the owner of so you're doing your day and i give a company name for example uh um salvadorian enterprise whatever right? i'm just giving an example hello my name is henry and i'm the owner of salvadorian enterprise and yaquila de muestra i'm showing you my logo my slogan never leave home without it is the slogan right never leave home without it and this is the company name right and i include my little logo right it's like something like that that's just an example so i'm going to give you like maybe 10 to 15 minutes to kind of think about this first step right when you finish you can tell me, teacher, I'm finished with mine, right? And maybe you can share it with me so I can see how, how you, you progress, right? When you finish it, you let me know. So I can write your name that you already did the first part. Teacher, I, I send you something in the chat. Okay. Could you read it, please? Sure, no problem. Okay, Thelma. Okay, let me put a mute here. Okay. And try to send me, um, if you can, try to send me the questions to my personal phone, okay? So we won't be mixing all this. You can tell me uh, all the questions on my personal phone, uh, number. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, that would be I appreciate. It. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Okay, Roland. Okay. All right. All right, so that's going to be the company name, and then you have to find a slogan and uh, a logo, right? That's it. But, what do you think, teacher? Yeah, hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And, and if you see part of the name of my company, uh, have an important letters. In some, in, in, the, in, in, in the respective moment, I will explain you. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. It has like a like a code, right? Like a code. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a code. All right, great. Yeah. yeah. Like a like like a Rivi nine. All right. Yeah, I remember that one, right? I remember. Yeah. That one. Right. I'm thinking in that way. Very good. Very good. All right. Yeah, that would be great. Hey, nice, nice, uh, Carlos. I can tell you, you didn't do it right now. You've been working on this, right? Yes, yes. All right, that's great. That's great. You're taking your time. Yeah. I like the letters. Is this something to do with technology or something? Yes, yes, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. All yes, right. I, I would like. Yeah, yes. yeah. I can tell by the letter in the middle, right? It, it, yes, yes. It is significant. It is very. This is the the one image for the the for that for the whole world. <laughs> yeah. The, okay. The, only, only, I so, was thinking that, that me, that's a question, yes? Yes, I just have one question for you. Is your, yes. is your, is your logo that centerpiece? El logo sería ese, ese, ese de medio? Uh, the, the, all like Coca-Cola, for example. Okay, yeah, is yes, that your? it's the same, it's the same. Okay, so that is the company name? 
Este es el nombre de la empresa y el logo está en medio, right? That little O. This is uh, O. This is O. But yeah, it's an O, o pero se mira como. With the, yeah. Yes, with the on or off. Yeah, that's the, not like a. Como una palanquita, right? Yeah, like a little switch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so that's nice. Remember that. Um, yeah, and uh, I was thinking. The logo, un logo no necesariamente tiene que ser una letra o, o, o algo. It could be something within the name of the company, right? Yes. So that's great. Yes, I will accept that. I, I include a, a sim, a sim, symbol in the letters. Yeah. The letter is uh, one symbol. <laughs> yeah, it's the O, right? But it has a little figure. So it's yes, nice. and you can, yes, and you can think that is, uh, for example, eco like ecological or tech, e ecological. Like, yes, ecologic or eco like uh, shipper in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And then tech, tech would be the technology, right? Yes, tech, technology or technician. No, right. Anything related something with something like that. But yeah. but you you can will uh uh more like more words using the 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 word the the name. Okay, great. <laughs> so you have here the 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 uh the name of the company and the logo, right? So remember when you give your presentation, you're going to say the logo is like that little centerpiece, right? Como un switch, right? And all you have to give it um, una slogan. You have to give me a slogan. Oh, uh, right? yes, yes. That's I, it. I will send you. But this is good. So all you need is a slogan and your status, right? Su status. Yeah. Su status in the company. Definitely. Yeah. Right. Very good. You can say president or owner or founder, el fundador, right? You can be ever, right? Now remember, don't think that que esa va a ser su función durante la presentación. No. Your function is, nomás para la presentación, that will be your function. But then for the logistics, en la parte de la logística, usted va a ser un logistician, all right? You're going to take that part as a logistician. And you're going to talk about uh, the logistics. I will explain it when we do the second part. All right? But for right now, let's do this. Yes, yes. I I, I made some videos. <laughs> ah, all right. Yeah. Different colors, right? These are short videos. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice, right? That's nice, right? Yeah. Did you do this in... Uh, all right, nice. He changes colors too. Okay, great. Yes. Okay, let me see. Francisco, uh, yes, the picture is not complete. Por eso no puedo decirle si está bien escrito o no. Eh, is the, la captura está cortada on the side. Dice, o oh, oh, termina hasta la O. The first part is good. No. That was poor. Okay, I don't see. It's cut on the O. And donde está la O está cortada. So I, don't, I can't see the rest. All right, let me see. All right. Okay, products. Um, ready? Adios, adios. Ready is products, high end products. Okay. Remember that when we talk about the main part of logistics, estamos hablando de un servicio, a service or goods, right? A service or a product. So try to keep in line with that, right? A service or a product. A service or a product.
teacher. Okay. But in my case, it's going to be service and product. Okay, you can mix it if you want. Yes, I see that you have workers, like you can go do, uh, okay, you're going, to be, you're going to have to be able to put those two together when you give your presentation. Yeah, I'll, I'll give the service. Actually, my, my employees will give the service and have the, I, have the, I have the product. If the customers won't, will want everything together or instead of going buying separately. Okay, yeah, all right. So if you want to do it that way, hey, that's great also. You're, you're including also a service, but at the same time, products, right? Yeah, yes. great, great. Let me see. Um. All right. Yes, Francisco. Yes. Yes, teacher. You have your your slogan and you have your logo, and in the same slogan is the company name, verdad? Yes. The same slogan is the name of the company. All right. You yes. Can do it like that. All right. Great. All right. Okay. And all you have to do is now your function, right? Your, your yes. Status, right. Let me see. Someone send me something here. Okay. Remember, I'm going to say something. A slogan no es una oración y media. All right, please avoid using like a whole sentence to give your slogan. A slogan is short. All right. Three or four or five words maximum, but not a whole complete sentence. All right. So avoid using complete sentences to be your a slogan. Teacher, sí. excuse me. Yes. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. For example, in my case, can I use, for example, the slogan, always innovating? Yeah, you can use phrases. Lo más probable in the slogans son frases, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's simple as that. Yeah, as simple as that, right? Yeah. Right. A uh, phrase, right? Be all you can be, right? El slogan de la, de la Army de los Estados Unidos. Be all you can be, right? Be yeah, all you can like, be. Yeah. It's like to describe the company in a, a less word. Um, the significant in relation to the. It's, it's somewhat. The, in, it's a little the bit. In, a little bit in that relation, but it's a way to attract. Atraer al yes. right? To attract the customer, right? To attract the customer. That's what a slogan does. Right? If for example, Nike, just do it. Right? Just do it. Yeah, just do it, right? Just do it. Yeah, it's like to 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 provide provocar. Provoke. Provoke some action. Yes, right. For example, for, for example, Papa Papa Jones. Jones. <laughs> yeah. Or for example, let me give you another one. Papa John's. What is the slogan for Papa John's? What is the slogan for Papa John's? I don't know. Fresh ingredients. Algo así, ever. Fresh ingredients. Uh, better pizza. Uh, yeah. Like right. Yeah, because right. they like food. <laughs> right. So. Yes. Yes. This one was. It, it won't be like our company sales. It's not the slogan, right? Right. That yes. won't be the slogan. So slogan is short and it attracts the, the client, right? The customer, right? So th those are slogans, company slogans. What is Little Caesars slogan? I didn't have a slogan, the Little Caesars. We all buy pizza from there, right? I buy pizza from Little Caesars. ¿Cuál es el slogan que tienen ellos? Pizza, pizza. I'm ready, teacher. I'm ready. 
<laughs> Hot and ready or pizza, pizza, right? <laughs> pizza, pizza, right? It's that little Caesar, right? And the logo, el logo de, the <laughs> yeah, the logo <laughs> is un Caesar de Grecia, right? A little Caesar. So yeah. little Caesar significa pequeño Caesar, Caesar, los Caesar de que que gobernaban en en Roma, right? O en Greece. Little Caesar. So that's why you get the word Little Caesar. Y usted ve a él como, uh, like the things around the head, like a Caesar from Rome, right? El Caesar de Roma. Right? You see the little thing over his head, like little feathers. Uh, not feathers, but leaves. Como que tiene hojas en la, aquí, de corona. So those are slogans, right? Pizza, pizza, all right, pizza, pizza, hot and ready. Let me see. Let me see who are sending them here. Let me see. <coughs> yes, much better there. Doris, much better. Much better with the slogan. Doris, much better. Okay. All right, very good with the slogan, right? The first one you gave me was like a complete sentence, right? but that's better. Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question, <clears throat> Doris. When you give this presentation, I want you to be able to, I hope, express how are you going to use logistics, la logística de esta empresa? What would it be? And the logistics is a... Uh, how do you say recoger documentación o customer or the of the, the los clientes? Okay, to pick up pick up paperwork from the clients, right? Okay. So, uh -huh, of the clients and the communi communication by and emails and WhatsApp. Telephone. Okay. All right. Okay, so it will be a direct, direct channel, direct channel, right? Direct. Yeah, direct with the customer. All right. Okay. I just wanted to see how you were going to go with this uh, business, but very good. Okay. Remember your position. Your position, your status. So status in Empress. Don't forget that also. Yeah, on the under CEO, all you have to do is put your name there, Freddy's. Remember that when you create this, I want you to be as as illustrative as possible, right? So if you're using PowerPoint or using another app, try to be colorful, try to put figures, mm -hmm. all right? That then they say being illustrativos with colors and, and different functions, right? Uh, little die because I never used PowerPoint before, so mm -hmm. yeah, but you're doing great. I like I like the letters. And the little, the little guy there, right? 
the little guy there with the plumber tool. All right. Yeah. So instead of CEO, I need to put my name. Excuse me? Instead of C CEO, mm -hmm. I need to put my name or no. It's CEO mm -hmm. and then your name. Ah, okay. Hello, Juan Jose, mm -hmm. you have a question? No. Okay. I thought you were asking me a question. Okay, let me see. Anyone have a question? Let me see, I have, this is the slogan teacher. Yeah, nice, nice slogan. Carlos. Yes, teacher. Nice, nice slogan, very good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay, uh, Francisco, all you need now is the, your status, right? Yes. Your status. It's okay. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay, Jackie. All right, so. What is the name of the company, Jackie? Home Food? Yes. Okay, so that's the name of the company, okay? Try to try to differentiate the colors from your company name to the slogan, okay? Que no sea mismo eh, the same thing porque parece que están como it's like united or together, right? So try to at least change the font size right or maybe change change okay teacher okay para que no se vea como si es el slogan o es el nombre de la compañía all right try to differentiate between the two but yeah home food all right great and your status right your status Okay, uh, Thelma. Thelma? Hello? Okay, teacher. Hi, I just have a question. Um, what, what business would this be? It's about service, teacher. Okay, what to type of travelers and, and ah, for people to stay, como para quedarse. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, so it'll be like we uh, Airbnb. Yes. Do you yes. know Airbnb? Like yes, yes like hotels and like and they do like reservations and stuff like that. Yes. 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 That's right. That's okay. So. I was just wondering, right, if that's what it was, because I'm like, okay, this would be like a, when someone comes visit from the United States and they want to stay somewhere, they will stay at Thelma's house, right? Y aquí, y aquí en el lugar. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Sure. I got you. But, but uh, so include offer food, food healthy, and transportation private transportation to and um, if if they like uh, deliveries okay okay but well, that's great that's great is so it's well, both yes uh, it's service nice. and sales product okay now the logistics all right, la logística de esto, you're going to be able to, to mention all this in your logistics project. 
Recuerde que la presentación va a ser sobre logística, right? So, yeah, you have this, your company name, but your service would be to, to get people to rent a house, right? To rent a house for the weekend or for a day or two or for three days or whatever, right? So what would be the logistics? ¿Cuál sería la logística de esto? Right? That's what you're going to explain in your presentation. So I hope you're... You can get all the information, right? But I think you already know. Yo pienso que ya tiene más o menos la idea of what, what uh, the logistics for this for this business is, right? Para este negocio, la logística. De yeah, este yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, this new, I, I was reading about this legal, legal instructions. <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> yes, it's, it's important. Yes, it's important for legal, legal action, yes. Right? yes. You yes. are correct. And so um, inventory in control control inventory falls. And so uh, 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 other 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 question about this. Business is is a big business yeah, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, like it's uh, they make a lot of money, right? If you can rent places like this, you will make money, right? I was looking at some reservations para December, and it was like, wow, uno dos cuartos quedan ahí, right? Uh, libertad or different places. I'm like, what, right? And, and there's a lot of people that rent a uh, cars too, cars, right? Rental cars. Woo! By this uh, time of the year, whew, making big money. Uh, yes, teacher, but um, uh, uh, my house, my house, my house is located in in downtown, okay. San Salvador downtown. Uh, near shopping centers, uh, policies and draws is 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 just, uh, um, my house is in Guatemala, Colonia Guatemala. Okay. okay. And so uh currently being remodel but because my mother was uh my okay self me the the house and then the house is uh, have a, had a, a many many bills and then <laughs> <laughs> is, it was a trouble, <laughs> a trouble <laughs> about this, but for two, for four years, I had to pay the bills, and in Finnish, the the past past month, I finished the pay All right. to pay. The payment. And then, the payment. And now, yes, the payment. And now, I had to, I had to um, make a business into into the house. And I thinking about this this business, but it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. I had so, to. So, some people, some people do it, and some people do it because they know people that come to the country that as tourists but sometimes you might get people you do not know right or you're not familiar with and you give them the place and then they destroy it right yes <laughs> so but yeah i see the 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 little house looks nice right here right i'm looking at it it even has a chimney right i like the the little <laughs> house that you sent on the <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah, okay all right, all right. Simply comfort, right? Good slogan. Good slogan, Telma. All right. Let me see. Overcoming. Mm. 
Okay, uh, Juan Jose. Yeah, good slogan. Good slogan. All you need is the the company name. All right, a company name. No más el nombre de la empresa, the name of the company, and your uh, your logo. Su logo. Uh, in Spanish, it could be the name this year. In Spanish, this this are in Spanish. And we offering offering many many service. Uh, for example, my daughter is auditory, and my other daughter is an uh, industrial engineer. My nephew is the design designer. My other uh, nephew is a repair computer. Uh, I am engineer civil. I am I am an architect. My another. Uh, daughter is Kim Engineer Chemistry and to offer many services, many, many kind of service. Sounds great. Sounds awesome. It, it is right. a, it's a, a family company. Okay. So the, all you have to do is give me like a, the, the picture of the, of the logo and then your, your status, right? Your, I, 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 am, I am working on in that. I, I, okay. I but what, what you told me right now, that. what you told me right now, Jose, sounds great. Sounds awesome. Nice. Yes. All right. It sounds yes. interesting, right? With art and everything, right? With art. I was looking for some drawings the other day. I kind of buscando alguien que podía pintar, but I couldn't find no one. Right? Yes. Uh, I, I, I'm not about electricity. I, I'm not about the fontanery. I, fontanery. I don't know. It's a fontanera or I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Now, uh, when, when, remember that uh, at the end, we're not, remember class that I just want to clarify something. At the end, no vamos a hablar tanto de la empresa. All right? Yes. Es el objetivo. It's going to be the beginning part. You're going to do your presentation about the company. And then you're going to talk about the logistics of the company. Yes, right. yes. But, yes. But, uh, no, I just uh, want for, to... For, to... For to design a logistic, you need uh, exactly. to know about the, the kind of service that you offer. Exactly. SOS, Jose. Juan Jose. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You understand the project. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Yes, that is correct. Right. In order to do the logistics, you have to know the company, right? That is absolutely correct. Yes. Now, the I just want to mention this just in case some people might get go that way, right? Ah, a company is this, a company is that, it's a los cinco minutos. Right? So remember. The logistics is lo esencial aquí, the logistics, right? So, yes, Juan Jose, I will be looking forward to seeing your your logo and the rest, right? Great. Okay, okay. Awesome, perfect. All right, let me see, let's look at something else here. Yeah, much better, right? Yeah, if you can have more art, much better, uh, Freddy. Mieles from the honeycomb to your table. Hmm. Teacher, I send it to you. Mine. Okay. Very nice. It is. It is a uh, travel service. Let me see. It could be in Spanish. Um, you can do it. In Spanish, but I, I wouldn't, if the company fits here, you can do it, right? But the presentation has to be in English. But if you can, if you can do it that way also, it, there won't be a problem. It won't be a problem. I think it because of the word. Hmm? Chivo. All right. The, okay, we have Chivo Wallet, right? But you put the other, you change the logo. Usted ha cambiado el logo y los colores. Que chivo, right? Santa Ana. And. Yeah, I'm already CEO of, of this company. And there's so not, that's why. I'm... Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's nice. All right. Okay. It is a travel agency, travel services. Yeah. All right, cool. Right. Yeah, you use the word chivo, but you're not using it like. 
copyright. Now, no, get, no, I did that way. Get Chivo's not that, right? So, yeah. It, yeah, that's great. There's no problem with that, right? That's and I just cool. add the, the slogan. Yes. At the bottom. Yes, you'll, you'll never forget. Right? You'll never forget. <laughs> like, a, a, like a big experience for you to yeah, visit Santana. Exactly, yeah, that's right? why I'm visit. I, I am from Santana. Oh, are you? All right. Yeah. I will I will go to Santana probably in the vacations of December. I might go to Cuatepec, El Lago de Cuatepec. Or the, oh, the that's cool. There, that's right? pretty. Eh, Las Ruinas de uh, Pasumal. Pasumal, yes. Yeah. yeah. Different areas, right? I'm going to do like a little travel for December. Eh, go Enjoy to, it. Yeah, so... I'm going to see where else I can go. I don't know. El Cuco, La Libertad. Or El Tunco, quiero decir. En La Libertad. Also stay there. I was looking at the hotels. They're already booked. Right? I have to <laughs> keep An looking. An Airbnb. Or... Yeah, yeah. I have to keep looking. I already called somebody. We'll see how to make the reservation. Yeah. But I like. I used to, when I used to go there, I used to stay at the Papaya Lodge. Ah, that's good. Yeah, it's like right that's there, great. right? And then you just walk. Yeah. So it was, it was nice. Um, I already contacted them to see what what I can do because I still I still have to make plans. But okay. Yeah, but I like your your uh, I like the logo also and the slogan. Nice, right? So you're the CEO. Okay, great. Let me see. I have here Jackie. Okay, much better. Much better, Jackie. All right, so as you can see, I'm giving you this time. Le estoy proporcionando este tiempo so you can advance, right? And not to be like, oh, I'm going to have to do this, I have to do that. So I'm giving you time to, to work on this. And tomorrow, I might, uh, tomorrow, we're just going to do some different activities. And then on Friday, so you can rest a little bit on Friday. Um, we're going to have a relaxed day and I'll give you the second part. Le daré la segunda parte. All right? And that way we'll, we'll be working on it and then you'll be ready to give your presentation. Okay? Let me see. Anyone have any questions? No questions. All right, you can continue to work on this. I have a question. Okay, Freddy's, please. What can you do in PowerPoint to put an image behind the the letters? Okay, you like for example, like this one. Yeah, but I want I want it behind you for you be able to see it like like a shade. You can see the image, but the letters are on top of the image. Okay, you okay? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. For example, if I make this, just to give an example, I, it's good, this one I cut from somewhere else, so it might not work. But you normally click here, and then you go to. I don't know if it's going to go behind it. Yes, it went to the back because I have like three, three different. Uh, let me see. Where did it go? I have like three different. Ah, <laughs> like something like this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's because there's like three here. I just try it. Voy a try it. Let me see. Try al frente. All right. Come back home. <laughs> All right. Because I have like so many. Tengo como cuatro imágenes. Four. All right. So. Let me see. You have to. 
Do you have a picture already already done? Yes. Okay, let me fix all this. Okay, add him proportionize here. What time do you let me see? When you go to your slides, when you go yes. to your slides, you're going to, um, you're going to have, do you have a paid subscription account? No. No? Okay. I have the 2013. Okay. So I went to a server and they, they, they installed it. They installed it, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I used to do it that way, but I stopped. I stopped because of some issues that I had, right? With when they installed, they installed it, and they they it came with something else with it, and it it was bad for me. <laughs> it was bad for me, especially when I was teaching, right? Especially when I was teaching. So you will have to use some of these functions right here, Freddy's. But if you want, um, tomorrow, I don't know what time, if you can in the morning, I can show you how to, to work with this, all right? Because I have to go back here. I have to put this back, all right? Okay. So like uh, in the... At two o'clock, are you available? I think so. Okay. Show you how to put this in the background. All right. But it, it, you would normally have to go to the picture here. And be al fondo, traer al frente. These types of ways to do it. All right. You see it here, like for example, the image that I have here, I can do like. I think that is the animation teacher, the option. Yeah, yeah it, it, I can do like, put color. I don't know, you see? I just put like a, a border around it. To make it red. You can work with all these different functions here on the last formato de imagen. You can work with all these and make it reflective color, uh, formato 3D, all these different types. But I don't know if it's, if you see it on yours also. But I can I can show you tomorrow a little bit about PowerPoint. All right, Fred? I'll give you a call. All right now I have to Keep it here. All right, let me stop sharing screen. I think I found how to do it. You found that it's right there. The the um, the functions. Remember, you can make it big, and then you can make it a border also. Yeah. You, you can make it. You can make a border on it. You can also. You can do different functions with it. Let's see. Let's change everything. <laughs> Uh, for example, you see this one right here? Can you see it? Like this back one right here? Like you can yeah. go, you just go here to formato de imagen. Right? And then I can make a border, you see? Put borders or make it like this. Make it like this. Make it like this.
just came in here the idea. Right. You can use this function and you can use this also, right? These other functions here where it says effect of the image. You can use like look at these. See it? You can use borders. A, a key as a where you decide how thick, right? The grosor you can put here, go there, you see. You can also put rayas, right? Like this. You can do different things with all these functions. All right. You can even, you see all this? You can change the inside of the color. If I want it green, I can do it like this. Con este de color. You see it right here? Yeah. Right. And you can also use the, all these different forms, right? I can make it like this. It's different ways. All right. Now, let me stop share. Okay, class. I gave you some time to do the first step, and tomorrow we will continue. We're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to focus on a lot of speaking, okay? So you're going to do group activities, all right, and related to work. I'm going to give you an example of what we will do tomorrow also. All right, we're going to see like maybe one page in the book, but I have this for tomorrow for you. All right, do you see this? Pueden verlo? You see it? These are going to be questions related to work or or similar to, to job related. And you're going to talk about this with your classmates, all right? Talk about the pros and cons of part-time. What is a part-time job? If I ask you what is a part-time job and what is a full-time job, what is the difference? In American standards, not Salvadorian standards, American standards, what are the hours for full-time? ¿Cuáles son las horas por ley en Estados Unidos de tiempo completo? Does anyone know? Si usted va a trabajar allá, ¿cuál sería el reglamento? What will Eight be the hours. Huh? Eight hour. Okay. Eight hour and six for the younger people. Okay. I, I, I believe. I believe. Right. But I, but I'm, I'm not sure. How many hours a week? Um, 40. Excuse me? 40. 40, yes. Después de 40 horas se le paga tiempo y medio a cada trabajador. All right, como aquí, right? <laughs> sure. yeah, right? I remember I used to work at a college, right? Yo trabajaba en un colegio, at a college, at a private college here, and sometimes we had to stay. Teníamos que quedarlo para reuniones con padres de familia, stuff like that, right? And it was like, um, I, I would ask, like, hey, ¿van a pagar esta? ¿Cuál zapato? <laughs> <laughs> right? There is nothing, right? There is nothing, right? It's 40 hours, and if you work over 40 hours, you pay, you get paid time and a half. And uh, part-time is about 20 to 26 hours a week, right? And normally you have a lot of students, right? El personaje estudiantil consume esos, esos puestos de, de medio tiempo. All right. So we're going to ask those questions tomorrow. I'm going to do the final attendance. Uh, Abigail. Okay. Um, Blanca. Blanca. Okay. Brenda. Okay, you're here. I see you. Carlos. Carlos. I'm here present teacher. Okay, great. Doris. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin. Okay, I know present. you're here. Thank you. Um, Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Fredis. I'm here teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, she didn't connect. Zero. Iris. Okay, it is. I see you right there. Present teacher, sorry. Thank you, no problem. Jackie? Present. Thank you. Jarvin? 
present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer? Teacher, I'm here. Okay, great. Juan Jose? Present teacher. All right. Let me see. Carla? Present. Okay, great. Miguel? Miguel? Okay, not here. No se conectó. Zero. Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando. Rolando. Present teacher. All right, great. Telma. Present teacher. Okay, awesome. Janari. I'm here. Okay, great. Let me see. Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Awesome. Perfect. So we only had two no shows. Two no shows today. All right. So, okay, class, get ready. Remember, tomorrow we're going to do a lot of speaking. You're going to do it with your classmates, so be ready. And the person that stays today is um, Francisco. All right. Everyone else? For today? Yes. Class number seven. Right. Okay, class, everyone else, have a good night and continue to grow. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Good night. See you tomorrow. Get good rest. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good, and you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Oh. Okay. So, how was your day today? Um, good. I think that in my, my day was normally. Was normal? Yes. Okay. With uh, a little heavy, but yes. It's a common that pruning sometimes. Okay. Go wrong. All right. Let me see. Let me ask you something. Um, do you have any questions, any doubts about anything, about anything that you want to share or or anything you would like to talk about? Uh, Conversation, yes. verbs, uh, vocabulary, pronunciation. Yeah, go ahead, Francisco. Okay, I have some question about the use for the as plus objective. Oh, the one, the ones that we saw earlier, as like do that earlier, right? Yes. All right. So let me let me go. Remember that when we use those, we're talking about ways to them in control. I have to find it. It's in the page number 15. Yeah, it's number 15, but let me, let me get the book over here. Do, 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 do. Let me see what class was that? Was that okay? I'm going to put you in activity. Okay. All right. Let's see, copiar. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to put it here. What happened? I believe that this day the weather is uh, a little cool in San Miguel, teacher. Right now? Yes, right now. Or yeah. it's hot, the weather? Uh, it's, it's still hot, but it's not as hot, right? It's not mm -hmm. as hot. But it's always hot over here. Let me see. All right. Can you see it right here? Mm, no. No, you can't see it? Uh, uh, right now, yes. Okay. Yeah. Bye. So we have here just a little activity. Okay. Es mejor en la práctica, ¿verdad? Que estar leyendo todo. Right? Do you agree? ¿Estás de acuerdo? Yes. All right. Porque el libro ahí lo tenés. Right? Yes. All right. Now, look at this. Let me close this last one. Mundo. All right. You can still see the screen, right? Uh, no, no, can... I don't know. Okay. Take a screen. All right. Okay. You see it now? Yes. Okay. Now. We use either as or as or not as como negativo. Bye. Es, co es a comparison, Francisco. For example, okay. read the first one, please. The blue car is. Mm. Entonces vamos a colocar el as with the adjective here on fast. Okay. Or. As fast as faster the rain. As fast the rain. as. Okay. Okay, repeat it. Uh, the blue car is fast as the car is, red. Is as. Is as. Ah, okay. The car is as. No, no. The blue as, car. The blue car. Blue car. Sorry. The blue car is as fast the red car. No. Si vas a utilizar el as, tienes que volver a utilizarlo después del adjetivo. All right. Oh. Okay, repeat it again. The blue car is as fast yeah. as the red car. Okay, the blue car is as fast as the, the red car. Yes, right? So you're comparing okay. two cars. Es tan rápido como. El primer es mm -hmm. tan y el segundo es como. All right? Okay. All right, but... Ahora, let's make it negative. Hagamos la oración negative. Let's make it negative. How will you make this negative? Okay. Aquí está aquí uh, arriba. Okay. Ah, okay. The blue car, the blue car is not as as the no, no, car. No, no, el adjetivo. Ah, fast. Yes, ah, sorry. Okay. Continue. Do it again. Okay. The, the blue car is as fast, no, no, it's no, no, not no. fast. Eso, va, dale. Mm -hmm. It's not nuevo. fast. Begin, okay. begin the, again. Okay, the blue car is, is not as fast as the red car. Yeah, all right, ya ves, pudiste tú solo. Yeah, all right. So, okay. can you do the number two? Look, vamos a utilizar esto. Negative, okay. not. Y el adjective to, dale. Okay. Uh, Peter, Peter is uh, not as tall, friend, a step of friend. All right, as friend. All right. Mm -hmm. So Peter is not as tall as Fred. El as viene después del negativo, okay? Not as, así como está aquí arriba. Not as. Okay. All right, very good. Number three. Uh, from, another negative. 
Yes. The violin. Mm -hmm. The violin is is not as low as the cello. Eso. Good job. As the cello. So this is cello. Ah, cello. All right. Very good. The next one, number four. This copy is mm, as bad mm -hmm. as the other one. Yeah, dale tu solo. You got it. Okay. <clears throat> Oliver is as optimist as Peter. Okay. Optimistic. Optim os optimistic. Yes, oh, okay, okay, very okay. Good. Today, today it is, um, it is as no, 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 no. It is, it is not mm -hmm. as windy mm -hmm. as yesterday. That's yes, oh, all. Very good. What, what is the meaning, windy? Windy. <laughs> ah, okay. Eh, el viento. Vientoso. Yes. Ah, okay. Eh, the tomato soup was as delicious as the mushroom 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 soup soup mushroom soup very good okay eh, grab grapefruit Grapefruit, grapefruit juice is not as sweet as the lemonade. Okay. Uh, mix, Nick, Nick, Nick is a uh, Nick is as brave or brave. No, brave, brave. Brave as Kevin. Very good. Uh, silver is not as heavy. Yes, heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, heavy as gold. Yeah, all right, great. You see, you did it, Francisco. You okay. did it. All right. Very good. Very good. So, all you're doing is comparing, comparing. Yes. Are you doing I, as all it is? Yes. Is it's, it's more clear for me, teacher. Okay, great. That's why I put that little activity for you. All right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Well, thank you for staying the extra 10 minutes, Francisco. All right? No, thank you. You, teacher. Hey, no problem. Right? I'm here to help you. You have a good night, and i see you tomorrow. All right? Thank you, teacher. No problem. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. All right. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye.